reminder and Jesus o cărdeam potrusul goes beyond the Good Friday. Not every Good Friday ke dansa me yogi ka trusul, but it should be something that we're thankful for every single day. Amen. Amen. I cannot see a Good Friday. Um, Butibar my butso di ka see o film, The Passion of the Christ, and uh, I'm not too big of a fan of that. Uh, I'm not too big of a fan of talking for the next 10, 15 minutes about the whip and the I le coca le que sas po whip, I o molivi o lead, and how much flesh was ripped off, and how many bones were visible. If the Bible doesn't give us those details, that means you ought not to focus on that. If the Bible wanted us to really focus on every single detail and how much blood he lost and, and what was his pulse rate on the cross, the Magasa say Bible for us to chaches focus on the physical part, it would have given us a whole lot of more information to talk about. But the Bible chi del duma but pagodo, penel ke carfosar deles chaches. Yes, he did suffer on the cross. We're not minimizing that. But there's more to the cross than to talk about the pain. You understand? So, Penal Tumingi? There's much more important aspects, there's much more important sides to the cross. I guess come out to me three very, very important. Uh, aspects or sides to the cross that I want you to see. I don't know if you get to see this behind me, but the oh, first point that comes out to me, Kangrio, is it the cross is a sovereign prophecy. Penman's a sovereign prophecy. All that means is that otru sul sasek prophecy kaidiao del. Believe it or not, even before the world began. The cross wasn't some afterthought or some uh, idea from the Jews or the Romans that happened, kind of Jesus Saspe Pu. It is not something that just, it was like a coincidence. It just so happens that was their method of torture. Mugapral otrusul, si vares o que sasan dogindo le devlesco. Before David Manus Pepu. You understand? God is sovereign. God is all knowing. God knows the end before the beginning. Do you understand? Kakosia Marodel, me and you live in time. Ame trubulta jukaraste, di kasar si taven le prami. Odel chi trubulta jukarel palakanikaste. God lives outside of time. God invented time. And God knows everything. So, otrusul. Is a sovereign prophecy. Jesus' death was not planned by the Jews, it was planned by God. Amen. You understand that? I'm trying to open your mind to just not think about whips and blood and, and a crown of thorns. I'm still getting a little feedback, Jake. In Martia Le Christoski, Sasbareso que Sas planned, Revelations chapter 13, verse 8, Penel Godo. And then John announced it, John the Baptist, in John chapter 1, verse 29, Canavilo Jesus, semno sardia peleste, he pointed at him, I pendia, there is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So even Jesus, even before he started his ministry, the Holy Spirit revealed to John, there's the Lamb of God. Eto bakrogole de vlesko, kaisite merel. Uh, God the Father and God the Son made the plan. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5, Penel Gadia, therefore, when he comes into the world, he says, Sacrifice and offering you you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. This is uh, Jesus uh, talking to the Father. La Shardian Mangekstatum Rodat. Verse 7. Then I said, Behold, I have come. To do your will, O God. So, the Bible si kavela menge kiodata o shav. This is, when Jesus came to earth, he knew why he was coming. He leski martia wasn't something like, oh my father, they're killing me. I was, I thought I was going to reign and be the king, but 
dig mugodad mudaren ma. The cross wasn't something that Jesus thought about after so many years on earth and said, okay, my father, I guess I'll just die on the cross for them. Jesus came to die. Our Jesus, Penyan, nobody takes my life away from me. I came to give it as a ransom for many. I'm trying to open your mind, church. Way before time. And even when Jesus is on earth, he knows why he came. Jesus' death, when you open the Bible, right at the get-go, Genesis chapter 3, Canaperelo Adam, Aye Eve, and Obezer, right there is one of the very first prophecies in Scripture that there'll be one coming from the woman that Satan will bruise his heel, but that the one coming from the woman will crush Satan's head. And come out in the kids man sagodo in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15. This is in the beginning of the Bible. O del penel ka ka dusmano and I will put enmity between you and the woman. So the Lord turns to the serpent who is Satan and he tells them this. Si te tau braza, si te tau enmity chingar and between your seed and her seed, he shall bruise you on the head and you shall bruise him on the heel. I don't know if you see that picture, but this is people that kind of paint things, but this has to do with Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, which is a prophecy in the Old Testament that had already said that the serpent would bruise his heel, which is not a mortal wound. Uh, 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 a, a bruising of the heel is suffering, but it says that her seed, the seed of the woman, which is Jesus Christ, 4,000 years later, and he crushed Satan's head. That's a deadly blow. So, a Bible si kavela in prophecy that even from the Garden of Eden, it showed us that there is coming one who will crush the head of the serpent, who will crush Satan. Even though it was 4,000 years before that happened, from the time Adam and Eve sinned to the time that Jesus came to earth, I, if so, God is patient. <laughs> He's got time. Uh, I mean, we're always running out of time. God has no issue with time. A Bible panel to him, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like a day. So God and time, he's got no issue with it. Um, and so on the Purano Testament, God gave many prophecies. I was reading today that there's over 300 prophecies that prophesied about the coming Messiah, about Jesus, his life, his death, his resurrection, where he was going to be born, what city, where he would grow up. I mean, there's over 300 prophecies on the Purano Testament. But when it comes to the cross, there's prophecies about that too. And his suffering on the cross and details. For instance, on the Psalm 22 verse 16, it's a messianic psalm written about a thousand years before Jesus came. A thousand years before Jesus came. Traila Santuncio King David. All right? thousand years before and he says this in Psalms 22 verse 16 that his hands and feet are pierced his hands and his feet are pierced and then in Psalms 22 verse 17 it says that there was no broken bone which was a fulfillment in John chapter 19 verse 33 they were going there to break his legs they would break everybody's legs to speed up their death, potrusul. So this was a common practice, Catalan Romans, to break the legs of the crucified person. When they come to the Lord, a Bible penel that they saw that he was already dead and they did not have to break his legs. Well, guess what? A thousand years before, Psalm 22, verse uh, 17 had already prophesied that there wouldn't be a broken bone in his body. 
God is perfect. And in Psalms 22 verse 18, how about this? It even talks about how they divided his clothes. And that was fulfilled in Matthew 27 verse 35. The soldiers declare his ketsalia ayuladele. And how even in Psalms 22, it says that they cast lots. Echaron suertes. Que el depes que te dicen con le les go undergarment. His undergarment was a subdo and the yekotor. And it was so precious that they didn't want to tear it apart. They said, you know what? We'll gamble for it. And they cast lots. They dicen who would get that beautiful, solid piece of his undergarment. Kaisadlis. So even that, a thousand years before, was prophesied. How about Psalms 22, verse 1? It says, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Who said that on the cross? It was fulfilled perfect. A thousand years before, O David, in this messianic psalm, full of the Holy Spirit, he's expressing this abandonment of God, O Jesus perdialis. Isaiah 53, verse 3. Now when you get to Isaiah, you're about 700 years before Jesus. David, a thousand years. Isaiah is about 700 years before Jesus. I, oh, 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 Isaiah in chapter 53, verse 3, uh, he talks about Israel's rejection of the Messiah, which was fulfilled. John chapter 1, verse 11, Peneli came to his own and his own did not receive him. Aviloka Pesquejene, and they did not receive him, Peneli Bible, can Avilo Jesus. Isaiah 53, verse 6, Peneli, our sins were placed on him. The chastisement that brought us peace uh, was upon him, that the Father crushed him, that Amaro Bezexas Todino Peleste. And in 2 Corinthians 5 21, a Bible Penel que Amaro, that Christ became sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God through him. So, O oh, Jesus fulfills even the prophecy of Isaiah and so many other prophecies. For instance, uh, Psalm 22, Penel, that he would be buried with the rich. And remember Joseph of Arimathea, Matthew 27, verse 57 to 60. Jesus is dead. I, Jalka Koga Jovarvalo, Joseph of Arimathea, Jalka Pilate, I, Peneliske, I like to get the body of Jesus. Varvalo Gajo, he had pool, he had rank, he had money. Nico Pilate, okay, fine. I, Penele Bible, that he put him in a brand new tomb. A thousand years before, it was prophesied that he would be buried with the rich. And it was fulfilled to the T. There were so many other people that can ask for the body. The disciples, he had 12 of them. Mary, uh, where does this guy fit in? Joseph of Arimathea, but it was already prophesied. I pendosas, I gadiasas, kirdo. So prophecy, sas both prophecies about Jesus, and then types and shadows. Those swato types and shadows, so shalin symbolisms. Also, di kesle throughout these four thousand years uh, in the Old Testament. Saro Abraham when he offered his son Isaac in Genesis twenty-two. Isn't that a picture of the father offering his son as a sacrifice? Kana, kana, o Abraham, todia okas, the wood on the shoulders. Penele Bible, he put it on the shoulders of his son. What did Jesus carry on his back? The cross. What did Isaac carry on his back? Wood for the sacrifice. And he was not a child. Avasas, some scholars say, anywhere from 17, 18, 20 year old, Saso Isaac, Nazgla Tutsa. You don't put wood for a sacrifice on the back of a child. Especially going up a mountain. Because they went to Mount Moriah. So, Dosta de Barosas, at least minimum a teenager up to about 20 years old, size of Isaac. A Genesis Penele Bible, that Abraham was old, Purosas, in his 90s. So, you telling me that this young man couldn't escape the old man? Of course he could escape him. But he didn't. He was willing and obedient. Who was willing and obedient to the Father? I pray, not my will, but yours be done. So in the Old Testament, there's types and shadows and symbolisms. Kaisi kaveltuke, O Jesus, 
Sar si te vel dino, sar odat si te del pesqueshaves. And that story is so beautiful in Genesis 22 because the Bible, Penel Abraham was going for it. He was obedient to the end. But, O oh, angel le de blesco, Pena Abraham, Abraham, do not harm the child. Now I know that you are obedient and you trust and you see to your faith and odel. And then it says this. Abraham, and he sees a ram, a carnero, a ram. His horns are caught in the thicket. Penele Bible. I penele angel, lego do ram in place of Isaac and offer him. Can I tell you something? Soto de pe poserole Christos, que curuna canjali, a crown of thorns on his head. How was that ram caught? By his horns. What was over his head? That thicket. And it's all this symbolism. Que o Jesus del pescotrayo palamende. That ram served as a substitute for Isaac. Jesus served as a substitute for you and me. You know what Abraham said, and he prophesied without even knowing. O Abraham Lelai Penel, on the mountain of the Lord it shall be provided. That was the first time Kesaso Swato Pindo Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. And we always use the word Jehovah Jireh. It had nothing to do with money and finances and business. Jehovah Jireh was mentioned for the first time. Canal Abraham prophesied that on the mountain of the Lord one day it will be provided. Praise the Lord. And so there's all these types and shadows. For instance, oh, let me, we got to read John chapter 8. John chapter 8, I guess I am taking my time. No, all right. All right. John chapter 8. Uh, verse 56, this is New Testament now, and uh, Dixo Penel, O oh Jesus, about Abraham. You're going to love this. O oh Jesus del Dumacal Pharisees, I Penel, and your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Man, they did not live close apart. If I'm not mistaken, from Abraham to Jesus is 2,000 years. So, Sarsai Penelo, Jesus, Abraham rejoiced at seeing my day. He saw it and was glad. And that was also so Pendele Pharisees. So the Jews said to him, you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. Therefore, they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out to the temple. He rejoiced to see his day. He saw it and was glad. I could just imagine Saro Odujole de Blesco in a way, however God did it, showed Abraham that day that he was sacrificing his only son. Well, he had Ishmael, but this was the son of the promise. I, because canal de la careles peneles que take your son, the one you love, and offer him on a mountain I will show you. So I can see through all of that experience, Abraham saw the day of the Lord. And Jesus confirms it. So what am I trying to tell you with all these prophecies and types and shadows that Joseph rejected by his brothers, sold by his brothers later to save them. Oh, Moses saving the people out of Egypt. Oh, Boaz redeeming Ruth. All the sacrifices on the Purano Testament pointing to Christ. Blood needing to be shed. All the temple sacrifices all pointing to the one who would come. It all is to show you that the cross was not something that just happened, Canavilo Jesus. The cross was something in preparation for thousands of years. You understand? 
But it wasn't only a sovereign prophecy. It was a sure victory. Canasazo Jesus Potrusul, to the eye of the people, Bilyakale Manusengi, the physical eye, it, it meant the end of Jesus. To them, it was short defeat. Kale Manuska, now Jesus Merel Potrusul, he's finished. He's done. We're not going to hear from him anymore. All hope is lost. And but Gaije Penin, that the cross was the failure of God. But the cross, Mugepral, is not a failure. It is a sure victory. Can I get an amen? Otrusule Christosco, Tavilesas Kalmanu, spiritual Yaka, on that day, they would have not cried, they would have not wept, they would have celebrated. Because the Bible si cavela mingi, que o Jesus potrusul defeated Satan and his demons. In Colossians chapter 2, if you want to go there, Colossians chapter 2, verse um, 14 and 15, Dixo Penel, having canceled out the certificate of debt, consisting of decrees against us, which was hostile to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. That, so all it's saying is that Potrusul o Cristo Carfosardiai nailed to the cross, so God is us against Amindar. So God is a cono pagliamle devlesco, all the laws and decrees of God that we broke. Jesus took that decree that was against us, nailed it to the cross. Verse 15, when he had disarmed the rulers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, having triumphed over them through the cross. Jesus disarmed, Oswato disarms us to, uh, to strip off, to despoil, to divest. Jesus won on the cross. He did not lose. Oh, Jesus, chicha sardia potrusul. Peliakale manuseng, it looked like short defeat. Oh, man, I guess it was a good run for three and a half years. Lesa. To the disciples, it seemed like all was lost. But in the spirit realm, in the spirit wor world, it was a short victory. But sometimes, leyakale manuseske naiputerde in the spirit realm, we only see what we see. But the Bible si cavela mingi that on the cross Jesus defeats Satan. And the prophecy of Genesis 3.15 is fulfilled on the cross. He heard his heel, but he crushed his head. He destroyed his power. At the cross Jesus paid for our sin with his blood. And we were able to be forgiven. Forgiveness came at the cross. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. Dixo Penel. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, Penel Gadia. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, that means sins, according to the riches of his grace. So, Potrusulo Cristo dobila menge yertimos. Potrusulo Jesus skepila me catare crisles quedadeski. He saved us from sure judgment. Romans chapter 5, verse 9, and I'm trying to go as quickly as possible, but I need to give you scripture because I don't have stories. Much more than having now been justified by his blood. How are we justified? By his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. You understand? If you ain't, if you are not under the blood, you are under the wrath of God. That's why see Kangaria, that's why we preach the gospel, that's why we go out and we call people to church and we preach to them on the Kera. Because people who are not under the blood, who are not forgiven, who are not born again, that's not a good place to be. To be under the wrath of God is not a good place to be. It is not fun. It is not good. It is the worst possible situation for any human being to be an enemy of God. Hey, if you got enough strength and power or you don't care about your enemy, an earthly enemy, 
maybe you win, maybe you don't, maybe you don't care, maybe you can get by. But when God is your enemy, you got a problem. You may run, but what? You can't hide. It's all going to catch up one day. But if you're under the blood, Davilianca Christo e Chachez Yertisardia Ke Bezecha, E Ke Isailiana Pendianlitske, I was a Kiro Lord, a Kiro Savior. A Bible penilamengi, much more than having now been justified by his blood. Chachardiame, that's the word justified. Chachardiame. Angla Pescodar, it's a judicial term. Like if you was in a courtroom and you've been declared not guilty. Free to go. Not because of some merit of our own, but because of the blood. Of Jesus on the cross. So the cross is a sure victory to pardon the sinner and for him to escape the wrath of God. At the cross, Jesus cleansed us in order to be able to serve God. But even I'm penas, I'm not worthy. You're right. We're not. But the blood of Jesus makes us Amen. worthy to serve him. Not because of our own goodness, but palaura de Christosco. It cleanses our conscience from dead works that we may serve the living God. Penele Bible. So, butivar siya megindo kay dela me Chris. Butivar siya megindo ria that condemn us. People condemn us. The world condemns us. Satan condemns us. Demons condemn us. Sometimes your own family sometimes condemns you. Oh, you're going to church now, huh? Holy, holy, holy. Oh, little Christian. Hallelujah. But as soon the blood of Jesus has cleansed you and has removed all guilt and all condemnation and all shame so that you can serve the living God. And so the cross is not a failure. It was a sure victory. And this is why Satan tried to keep Jesus from the cross. You think Jesus, Satan was cheering him to the cross? You're wrong. You got to... You got some bad theology. Why do you think when Jesus was born, Satan, through Herod the king, killed all the babies two years old and under? Why do you think Odusmano in the desert tempted Jesus with riches, with power, with fame, just so that he will not get to the cross? Why do you think, I know Peter, Penyako, Jesus, you will not go to the cross. What was Jesus' answer to Peter? Get behind me, Satan. Satan was influencing Peter to stop Jesus from the cross. And why do you think it was so heavy on the soul of the Lord in the Garden of Gethsemane? Because his battle was its fiercest in the Garden of Gethsemane. Canavilete pandavele Christos, o Peter and Calavele Xavia, takes out his sword and cuts the ear of the high priest servant, Malchus. How Jesus Penelis could put away your sword, and he gets the ear and he puts it back and he heals this man. How Jesus Penel, how Peter, don't you understand that there's 12 legions, if I'm not mistaken, there's 12 legions of angels at my disposal right now? That can come and save me? Chalares tu que see thousands and thousands of angels right now at my disposition. All I got to do is tap out, call on my father for them to come and rescue me. But that's not why I came. He came to give his life. So there was always kako pressure katero dusmano using people in the desert tempting him when he was a baby. All the way to the cross, Satan tried to keep him from getting there because Satan knew that if he dies, he's dead. If Jesus dies and takes upon himself the sin of the world, he, have, he would have provided redemption for all who call upon his name. And so, O dos manos humadiata but he couldn't. The cross is a sovereign prophecy, a sure victory, and last, a solid bridge. Do you see that picture? Let me get out of the way. You see that picture? 
I love that picture. I don't know who drew it. But it's just a beautiful picture. Hell is at the bottom. And Jesus bridges the gap Amen. for you to get across. Sometimes the picture is worth a thousand. Maybe I should just put three pictures and not preach. <laughs> but Pralali, the cross is a solid bridge. It's not a weak bridge. It's not a hope so bridge. Hope it can carry me and my family. Shavali, Otrusul is a solid bridge to bring you over, to cross you over. Canamerelo, Jesus, or Shaule de Blesco, Potrusule, Bible, Penel, in Mark chapter 15, verse 38, that the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. O baro veil que sasando temple, a bari curtain que sasando temple, that separated. It was a wall of separation between a holy God and sinful people. But at the cross, O Jesus tears down that wall and builds a bridge and calls people to come to Him. The Bible says, "Kamela mengando Ephesians chapter two, and we're ending." The Kamela tena kelo choir. Ephesians chapter two, verse thirteen. But now in Christ Jesus, you who formerly were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. To make I say nas dur akana sayavin passe palaurat. Le Christosco. At the cross, Jesus built a bridge to access the Father's throne through His blood. Kako penela menga do Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Kanai Bible penela menga to approach the throne of grace boldly. And to receive mercy in a time of need. Akana puterdolo tronle de blesco. Puterdolo ohayo. Puterdolo. We have access to the Father. Because of the cross. At the cross, Jesus built a bridge. What a bridge that allowed you and me to cross over. From this point to the next. A bridge is that. It, it, it's there to cross you over from point A to point B. And I want to just tell you a few things. That this bridge that's called the cross of Jesus... It crossed us over from death to life. It crossed us over from darkness to light. To having no hope, to having a living hope. From being condemned to being forgiven. The cross provided a bridge from condemnation to forgiveness. From being bound and being in bondage to being set free. And listen, from Satan's dominion to God's possession. Amen. Where no man can snatch you out. This is the sure, solid bridge that the cross provided. From being God's enemy, you crossed over through Jesus to being God's child. And that is enough, Mughapran. Tavasa kardeakana shave aishea lidivleske. In the Bible, Penel, we were children of wrath. In other parts of the Bible, for the non believing people, Jesus called them children of Satan. But now through Christ and His cross and His blood, we can be called, John 1, 12, we have been given power to be called children of God. And so I end with this. The cross is much more than nails. My boots are carfria, my boots are igbicho, whips, and crowns of thorns. The cross is much more than the pain Jesus endured. And I believe we need to, I'm not saying they're not there, but not to suck your focus on Good Friday on these instruments of torture. 
Because let me tell you what this movie does. The Passion of the Christ. Let me tell you what all these instruments do. They make you feel sorry for Jesus. Yes or no? Can I tell you that Jesus doesn't want you to cry for him? Do you know that? Luke chapter 23. I want you to hear this. Verse 27. Rovenas le manus, when Jesus was carrying the cross. Roven le manus. I mean, they're crying, they're sobbing. Baroro y mojalpe. I think so, Penele Bible. Verse 27 of Luke chapter 23. And following him was a large crowd of the people and of women who were mourning and lamenting him. Verse 28, listen to this. As Jesus is carrying the cross, Jalorat, Mardo, Shindo, Dukado. But Jesus turning to them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, stop weeping for me. Namai Roven Andamandi. But Jesus took the time to stop. He's going to Golgotha. Jal te pokinel para el lumiake. To fulfill the Father's plan. All the prophecies to be fulfilled. And on his way to do all of this, 4,000 years in anticipation, he took the time to stop and turn around and correct something. And what was that correction? Don't weep for me. Not over on Damandi. But weep for yourselves and for your children. You know why he said that? Because judgment is coming. And if I'm not your savior, if I'm just a man that's suffering to you, if you're just sorry because you're seeing a person die, you will die in your sins and face the judgment of God. But if I am the Messiah, the Son of God dying for your sins, you ought to be grateful that he's dying. Now I understand Chali Arenas Le Manus Butan da Kako at the time. But 2,000 years this way from the cross, we should know better not to lament for Jesus. Not to tavela me kado pity thing and see that movie and just roba, sorry Jesus. If there's gotta be tears, there's gotta be tears for our own sin. Forgive my children, Lord. Forgive my family. Devla, we need to be closer to you after everything you did on the cross for us. So if anybody needs to cry, we don't cry for Jesus. We cry for our own sin. When you truly understand the cross, you will understand that more than the pain, that it was a prophecy. More than his villains, let's get Dusmaya, was a victory. And more than his bruises, it was a bridge. And it was a bridge that still till today, it carries people across to salvation. And I pray, Amare glanti te skepimpi, ame te skepimpi, Amare famili te skepimpi, te nascem palpali, ande kakia lumia jungali. And I pray to God that our children wouldn't have to face the wrath of God, but that they would have the forgiveness of God that is offered through Jesus Christ and His cross and His blood. Amen. Let's pray. And Father, I just thank you, Devla, because it was a sure prophecy. A sure victory, Mugodel. And a solid bridge, Devla. And I thank you, Devla, that you've crossed me over, Devla, years ago. But, Devla, there, there's so many more people that we need to help to cross over, Mugodel. I pray, Devla, that tonight many will cross over. 
come to Jesus, the Savior and Lord. To come repented, mo din. Ta ven ke ime. Ay te mangen tu ta dierti mo de bla ke oral de Christos ko ja ge ziertil le bezecha. Fra la peo te asune sama. If you need forgiveness tonight, all you have to do is confess your sins to the Lord. Ay penele Bible, he is faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Ages orale Christos ko chalabel. Ages orale Christos ko yertil ke bezecha. Ay del tu trayo. Jipongo, the eternal life is found in the precious blood of Jesus our Savior. Mogodel, kakiavor bate garavin lande pengile mogodel. Let it penetrate our hearts, Devla. And let us, Father, come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Nice to come, Mogoda. Kamaste pasos ke signale Devleski. Brandy Nino, we're proud to sign a cast. Let us prepare.